it's really about the ability to observe phenomena that were previously unobservable. That's temperature, that's humidity, that's the details of the light level. Remember Aaron Brockovich, the movie about, about taking measurements of pollutants in the water, right? If you wait till the levels are really high and you're already starting to see disease in people, that's way too late. So if we can begin to develop technology where we can routinely be observing these phenomena, we can catch them earlier, we can intervene earlier before they can become dangerous. coined the term eco-geeks, and that we're sort of taking these traditionally sort of techie-like students and getting them out there into the environment. Our soil sensors um, have a little brain at the top, and then very thin wires going down to lots of little sensors. It also makes use of robotic devices. And these robotic devices have the ability of moving sensors around in the environment and taking measurements in many more places than just those numbers of places where you could stick uh, uh, sensors permanently. We do other kinds of measurements as well. We use little cameras and look at images and look for changes in color patterns or changes in shape and size. We do acoustic monitoring in studying things like uh, woodpeckers or trying to estimate the numbers of species of different birds that are being observed in a, in, in a forest. never before had the ability to really see in detail how a building moves in response to an earthquake. Another way of thinking about this technology in general is it's like having the ability to do a CAT scan or an MRI instead of just taking a blood test. You actually get to have a detailed view of the living system, the living phenomenon, whether it's the contaminated water or whether it's that endangered ecosystem or whether it's this structure in response to an earthquake. I always wanted to design things, and that creative process of inventing something new. There's nothing more interesting than invention and innovation. And in this case, it has a tremendous opportunity to matter. It matters to the environment, it matters to scientists, it matters to medicine, and that draws me to the